Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and I'm here to tell you that there are always witch hunts in Barbados, okay? Now, this Dawn Marie Armstrong is apologizing, but she really didn't state why she was apologizing. What for? What did she say that was offensive? Something she said was offensive, and I'll tell you what I'm hearing in my blog. She offended women who do not have kids. Now, I have to keep a straight face. Wait one second. Now, we know that, you know too, that most people in Barbados that have kids have the mother of a bed lot, right? We know that most women take care of their kids on their own. We all know that. I'm not saying that people don't get married in Barbados, but that's secondary. That's after they've had a, you know, a couple kids and then maybe they'll have someone marry them. But it's not as though you're choosing from any cream of any crop in Barbados in terms of the male population. So she and others in Barbados are on a witch hunt for women who do not have kids because they're thinking that if you don't have kids, you don't know how to make policies concerning kids. You don't know how to talk to kids and blah, blah, blah. When in history, most teachers were maidens in history, the beginning of, you know, when you talk about schools and teachers, usually the teachers were women who did not have children and they dedicated their time, energy on schooling, educating your kids. That's what teachers did back in the day. Okay? So there's always some sort of witch hunt in Barbados, if you have too much land and you're a female, they think you have too much land. You're a female. You should not have this much land. If you are part of the LGBTQ community, there's a witch hunt. And most people are homosexuals in Barbados. I heard someone talking about Sodom and Gomorrah, like sodomy. You women need to be sucking men's dick to keep them. Um, if a man is getting paid by a woman, because most women in Barbados that have men, they usually have to come up with some money. Well, you have to be sucking her pussy, right? That's sodomy, right? When you suck a man's dick or when he sucks your pussy, ain't that sodomy? So when you hear people talking about sodomy and using it in terms of homosexuality, who are they trying to fool? Who are they trying to fool? Most men in Barbados are homosexuals, bisexuals, and people there like to fuck, <laughs> right? And try to keep a straight face, but you know, it's just, I'm just saying, just coming to you straight. So a witch hunt in Barbados is almost something that shouldn't be. It almost should be outlawed to have a witch hunt in Barbados because you're hunting yourself. You're actually hunting yourself, your family, your neighbor, the teacher, the nurse, the doctor, the pastor. Oh, yeah, 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 the pastor. Okay, the priest. You're hunting everyone in Barbados when you go on a witch hunt because there are not many that can be found without sodomy. Okay? There's not many. There are not many that can be found who don't have a second life, who don't lie, who don't steal, who don't deceive. Okay? So when this girl 
this one that is talking about an apology because she is on the witch hunt now for women without kids is probably the best situation to be in. Kids are easy. Most people that have kids are poor and bring them up in poverty. You're, you're raising your child in poverty. What's that? To, what's a, you have pride in that? You take pride in that? You're proud about that? So this Dawn that is talking and giving this apology, she has probably a kid because she wouldn't have said it. But then again, the hypocrisy is so thick that sometimes even when you're in that same situation, you're criticizing the situation you yourself are in. But let's assume that she has a couple of kids. Let's assume. Does she have the money to really raise them the way they should be raised? Does she? Pushing out kids is not always the best thing to do. And even if you can push out kids and you decide not to, that should be respected. But what about the people who can't? There are some women who just cannot have kids. You're going to hunt them down and make them what? Shame? You're going to punish them for not having a child in this hell that you call earth? You're going to punish women? Like I said, all throughout history, all throughout history, there have been witch hunts. There have been witch hunts. People have, are always gunning for someone that's different from them. There was a time you could not even plant a vegetable garden. A vegetable garden. This time you could not even do that. Okay? There's always someone around that wants to hang you or burn you on some steak or whatever. There's always someone around to want to fuck you up. And they are doing the same thing you're doing. Or they live. They live to see the day that what they did made no sense. It was ill-conceived. The idea that they had was ill-conceived. It was built and formed out of fear. People live in fear. And what they fear, they try to destroy. That's what they do. Okay? So Dawn should not. You should give her a pass this time. She's not ready. Dawn is not ready to be representing anyone if she is getting on the campaign trail and marginalizing women who do not have children. Okay, she's not ready. Dennis Lowe needs to go. Dennis Lowe needs to go. You do not vote for him. You are a subhuman. You are subhuman. If you put an X next to Dennis Lowe's name to have him in active politics. Okay? So that's it. This video is in response to hearing this Dawn Maria Armstrong, some shit like that. This young girl on the campaign trail apologizing. Are they going to get Dennis Lowe to apologize? Is Dennis Lowe going to apologize to Mia Motley and all the L? BGT, whoever, however you put those words, those letters together. Are he, is he going to apologize to that community for what he has said? Is he? Okay. So there's a lot of apologizing that should happen. And after the apologizing, it's not forgiving and there's not forgetting. Okay. You, you put those people out to pasture. They're not worthy. They're not capable. They're not suitable. They do not have the capacity capacity for the enormous, the enormous responsibility it is to become a politician. They don't, they don't have it in them. They do not have it. Put them out to pasture. They're not, and they never will be ready. It is not a sin not to have a child. It's not a sin. Okay? Sherry Veronica.